student account where the student will need to click on the simulation to continue after clicking on the button then let's say I purposely make a mistake I do a check I get something wrong so remember it's 111 then eventually I get it correct do a check now on this analytics the student is 100 this should change now the two tip will show the history of the student now if you refresh you should see the 111 which is the mistake and then followed by 121 which is the correct answer so again let's say I purposely make a mistake let's say I choose 6 and eventually to only get the answer maybe another time another time 5 then I do a check in this time I should get a 6 but a different answer now so let me refresh now you should see the interactions of the student with respect to question 2 so he chose 6 1 1 5 1 1 followed by 1 1 1 and because these are previous entries so it will capture the old data until the student were to do the new activity so let's say I'm a good chemistry student I can get the answer immediately correct I do a check what is wrong okay uh, two three one three two okay let's check okay so now this should then bear the the same so now you can see it's all correct if i refresh you should see all the error log of the earlier attempts of the student plus the correct answer okay so maybe for illustration i will do one more before all the marks are tallied uh, let's see this is four two okay this must be two to balance the molecules so this must be two and I'm gonna get it called right okay and this should now show the same answer as the correct okay uh, maybe one final try one two this one must be two so must be two because of the molecule balancing so this has to be three because there are six of them so let's check okay this if i'm correct this should be turn green and only uh, only the correct answer is in the hint exactly so this is a uh, data analytics for the simulation made in each ss so maybe i just uh, show some of the capabilities now so if you were to read from the simulation you can click on the extend table to see all the results you, these are all sortable like the usual SLS the activity online is the number of access or number of visits by the student activity status these are incomplete complete and overdue overdue means they have not tried and this is a new feature that we have added uh, this actually shows the the percentage of students that got the answer wrong so if you were to mouse over you can see there's a 10 percent 10 percent so these are the question that the, stu the teacher will need to pay attention to okay and then uh, you can sort by final marks this is to go back to the previous page this is to refresh the simulation in addition to this refresh this actually is a new feature you can hide the marks so you can actually as a teacher show the marks during class without um, without embarrassing any students like the old design in SLS and then this is the legend